Hey y'all, we're going to go ahead and make a strawberry cobbler. You're going to need one stick of butter and a 10 inch skillet. And we're going to pop this in the oven and melt the butter. So you want your oven preheated at 350 degrees. And then we're going to move on to the next step. All right y'all, so here in my bowl, I have one cup of sugar. We're going to put in one egg. Then you're going to want one cup of all-purpose flour. Then you're going to want one cup of milk. Y'all, so now you want two teaspoons of baking powder. Then you want a half a teaspoon of salt. Then you want a quarter of a teaspoon of vanilla extract. And then a quarter of a teaspoon of strawberry extract. And if you don't have strawberry, you can just use a half a teaspoon of vanilla and that would be just fine. And let's mix this all together. So I just pulled the pan out with the melted butter. Here is my batter. We're going to take our batter and pour it over top the melted butter. And then you're going to take a half of an 8 ounce, so it's 4 ounces of cream cheese. And cut it up into little cubes and we're going to put it on top of our batter once I get this all in here and then I took uh, two packages of strawberries and cut those up so here's the cream cheese we just cut up into little cubes and we're just going to go ahead and just drop it you're not going to stir anything so just drop in four ounces of cubed cream cheese. Y'all, so here's my diced up strawberries. Again, I got two cartons. And we're just going to go ahead and drop them all over the top with the cream cheese. We're going to put this in at 350 degrees for about 45 minutes. I'll let you know exactly how long it took me. But let me go ahead and get these strawberries in there. Y'all, so I'm going to get this in the oven, 350 for about 40 to 45 minutes. I'll let you know exactly how long it took me. All right, y'all, it's all done. It was in there for 40 minutes. Give it just a minute, and I will pull some out so we can see what it looks like inside. Y'all, so I pulled a little bit out. So that's what it looks like. You can see the cream cheese. And I'm sure you can just leave the cream cheese out if you want. And that's what it looks like. So if anybody has any comments, questions, or concerns, don't hesitate to reach out. I have family cookbooks. I'll put the link below and above this post. It tells you ways you can order that. Follow us on YouTube and Facebook. And I hope everybody has a wonderful day.